Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. It's almost 5 o'clock here, y'all. I'm just getting around to fixing something to eat. I've been posting stuff on Poshmark. So if y'all want to check out my channel, I added three puffer coats. Brand new. And I added two dressy tops. Um, today I'll be air frying some catfish. I asked Walter how much he was going to eat. So I know how much to fix. So I bought two like this. So I'll just fix one today. I'll be using some Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry breading. I'll be putting it in my breader shaker bowl. You can buy this on Amazon. So if y'all can't find my link, go to Amazon, look for breader bowl and get this kind. Don't get the round top, uh, kind with the green top because you'll have flour all over your floor. I got one of those too. Don't get the big square one either, the big giant one, because that's like for a small restaurant or somebody who got 15 kids and they fix a lot at one time. But anyway, I'll be using my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. Yes, I'm going to air fry in my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. It works just like an air fryer. So, y'all will see the results. So, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to have to wash the fish. I'm going to wash my hands because I just put lotion on my hands. Perfumed lotion. Put on my elbows. I'm going to wash this stuff off. Now, I rinse my fish off. You smell it, make sure it's not spoiled. It smells good. That's right. It came. Let me show y'all how this fish is. It came pre cut like that. So all I got to do is finish slicing through it. I'm going to wash it just like this and then put it on the plate and then I'll slice it. show y'all what I put on it. I put mustard on my fish, y'all. Regular yellow mustard. Mix the fish off good. They could have dropped it on the floor in the meat department. Who knows? So I wash it. Okay, that's good. Dry it with paper towel. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Go through with this. Dry it. I always dry my meat, my chicken, my chops, everything before I season it. Sop up the water in the bottom of the bowl. In this case, a plate. Okay, let me get the. I want to cut it or I want to use scissors. Well, this can be preheating. I'm all over the place, y'all. Yeah. I don't have ADD. I don't think. I may have, because I'm all over the place all the time. Okay. I'm going to put the fish in here. I'm going to put some foil in here. Because the less I have to clean, the better. This is heavy duty foil. Put it in here. So we can catch the grease that's going to drip from this pan. Okay. 
Okay. Like that. People ask me if there's any special way, and there's not. So I'm gonna let this preheat. I'm gonna put it on air crisp. I'm set for 400, like I said, everything. And fish don't take that long to cook, so I'm gonna set this for 12 minutes. So I'm let it preheat right now. So I'm looking for some, I'm going to use my heavy duty shears that I cut my chicken with. Could have used a knife, but I'll use this. That's good. Should have got my stainless steel bowl. But I had to butcher pre cut this. When you buy fish, always smell it. Because it's not always fresh. I bought fish that time I opened that package, that smell almost knocked me out. So of course, I had to take it back. That was at Walmart. Had my mouth set for some fish and I couldn't eat it. Felt like crying. I'm gonna go get my stainless steel bowl. I'll be back. Okay. Don't need no tail feathers. I do like the fish tails though. If I uh, go somewhere and get fish cut, I tell them to leave a whole lot of meat on the tail. You don't want them both like that. That's ready. Don't need to cut this anymore. Tail piece. Yeah. Get you some good shears, y'all. They'll cut through anything. Okay. And yellow mustard. Just regular hot dog mustard. Uh oh. Just a little. It's a nice swig. I'm going to add some Old Bay. I know how to make Old Bay seasoning, but I haven't in a while. Shake it, shake it freely. Those the, uh, I want seasoning to be in every bite. So it's going to be in the Breading, this is season. It's going to be in the fish when the breading is fed off. In my country. My hands are already nasty. I'm going to smush it. Smush it, smush it, smush it. And the fish will not taste like mustard. The mustard adds another layer of flavor. It helps the seasoning stick. And the turmeric in the mustard is good for you. For joint aches and pains. And I don't know what else. Okay. Now, let me wash my hands. Oh. 
somebody asked me, did the mustard make the chicken or the fish crispy? No, mustard can't make nothing crispy. Okay. This is where this butter bolt comes in. this previously in the vacuum sealed it back closed so it stay fresh I don't think I'm gonna use all this just put enough in here to be breaded evenly don't, don't dump it all at one time. About that much. But I do want to cook all the fish at one time. Okay. When you use the brother bowl, you do have to hold the lid. You no, know, the first time Walter tried to use it, he was holding it by the handles. I wonder why. The top came off and the flour went everywhere. Put him on blast. Okay, I'm just gonna shake it. Nicely coated. It says add food. Check out the excess. this fish yeah watch it's gonna fit hopefully some good old fresh fish This is enough breading. If not, I can always add more. But I don't want to put too much. I'm not supposed to reuse this once the raw meat has been in there, especially chicken. I do sometimes when I know I'm going to use it again the next day. I'll freeze the excess. I think I need a little more. Oh, there's still some in the bottom of here. I'm going to shake it again. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Now to bring it out over here. I don't want it all to fit. It's a big piece. Now I've got to rearrange it. Get over there. Put this little piece in here. That's why I like air frying in this Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill because it has more surface space more area to put food. Whereas my air fryers, they just got a basket and it's square. 
Oh, I'll take these two little pieces. You know what? I'm not going to overcrowd it. And I'll be wondering what happened to my fish. Don't overcrowd it, y'all. I'm trying to get through. But it don't take long. So I'm going to arrange it so each piece can have some air to circulate. Okay. So I got one, two, three, four pieces left. Make my hand off again. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil. You can use avocado oil. You can use vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. Grapeseed oil. I got some grapeseed oil in there. Just spray it. Spray it, spray it, spray it. So you don't have no flowery patches. Whoops. That's good. So I got it set for 12 minutes, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna let it do what it do. And I'll be back, y'all. Okay, I decided to throw some fr french fries in there. So, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. Nice golden brown, crispy fried chicken, crispy french fries. So I'm about to fix me a plate and I'm show you my plate. A good thumbnail? Yeah. Here's my plate. Nice golden catfish. This salad, french fries, ketchup. This kind of uh, french dressing I use. I got this from Menards, y'all. It's so good. It's the best french dressing I've ever had. You can see the seasonings in it. This might be my thumbnail. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the night. Child, I'm so hungry. Bon appetit. Bye.